Hello everybody. This is Dolphin Online Data Recovery Training Video Section 3. And within this video, we will focus on the hard drive data recovery. And users will learn the general methods used to get the data off the pension hard drive. Okay, now let's watch the video. For physical factor, we can see what we will do. All we will do is to get the data off the hard drive platters, which contains the data. So how to get the data off the platters? This is affected by three factors, physical factor, firmware factor, and logic factor. So First, let's talk about the physical factor. For physical factor, we can see the key elements are not too many. The first very important physical inner component, that is the platter, because it contains the data. But within our data recovery labs, about only 15, yeah, 15% cases are about the platter damage, like the platter scratch, like some small dots or some dust on the platters. But only 15% cases which are related to the platter, yeah, the platter damage. The success rate for the platter cases is not high because in case the data error or the SA error is damaged, it's very difficult to recover data from the platters. Most physical cases are about the head damage. It's about 75%. Then after the head we can see the motor problem, like the stuck motor. It cannot rotate the platters anymore. It looks dead. Anyway, you can fix it. Yeah, you can fix it. So for the, for the platter problem, let's see what are the cases. Like platter scratch, like if scratch some if some small scratches or some maybe some small dots. We can try to clean the dots with some uh, clean wipers, some special design clean wipers. Like you can even clean, clean the fingerprints. So many new guys, they, they are trying to, you know, open the hard drive and leave some fingerprints on the platters. This is very dangerous and ridiculous. Never leave the, your fingerprints on the platters. So if, if some severe scratches on the platters, then we say these cases are really, really dead cases. So we will talk about this one later about how they are how they get damaged. So this is the first very important inner component of the hard drives, the platter. So you can see here are the very obvious scratches. Yeah, some people ask me if you can read this data from these platters directly, like you can insert the hard drives and read the platters. It's like one platter read machine. Sorry, no such kind of machine. So the second phase component is the heads. About the heads damage, we can see 
the most pro the common problems uh, are single head damage, multiple head damage, and weak head head contamination. So, for some cases, even if the hard drives have the single head damage or weak heads, the the hard drives can still be detected within some special tools such as our DFL DDP USB 3 and only if it can be detected and ID can be read then we can try to image this drive at this time if it has head damage never try to extract the files directly because it's very dangerous you can cause second or permanent damage to the platters or to the heads so you, you need to at this time you need to open this kind of drives within your clean bench and then try to swap them if the head is dirty then you try to clean the heads with distilled water in ultrasonic cleaners this is one very very important method clean the heads sometimes if you found some uh, customers brought drives uh, which has been drowned like drowned in the floods okay at this time you must clean them before you can clean them and dry them then you can put it on your clean bench and open it and operate on it otherwise you can never power it on and operate it because you will destroy it so clean your heads with distilled water in ultrasonic cleaners this is very important for the multiple head damage then you need to find one dollar heads from the dollar hard drives swap the heads so this is about head damage so head damage it can be caused by many reasons such as your maybe uh, some accidents you drop your hard drop your laptops or some uh, shaking cooling yeah you, you, you unexpected accidents this will cause the inner damage so the third one we, we talk about is the stock motor at this time you may try to malony this is the head each platter has two heads top head and bottom head so if the hard drive have two platters then you get four heads one platter two heads one read head one right right head read and right head you can check more in the later parts of this training don't worry so yeah sometimes after we open the hard drives maybe you you cannot watch the scratches or just what are uh, damaged this is by your eyes but you can watch it by microscope so for most people you need this microscope and you can then watch the same uh, same scratches yeah the same scratches you, you need the microscope to watch it so for above cases like the platter cases the head cases and the motors cases you need the head and the platter swap pro the head comes and the microscope so this makes you very professional so people also ask me why do we need clean environment and wear special anti-static gloves suits covering your whole body except your eyes why they ask me why 
Yeah, that is when you, when, whenever you need to open the hard drives, you need the clean environment. You need weird such kind of stuff, stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you need to wear them. Why? Let, let me ex explain to you. First, if you wear such kind of special suits, these suits can minimize the dust or any possible contamination elements. Sometimes maybe you, you didn't wash your body or your, you, maybe you have some dust or, on your hair or your fingers. Yeah, if this kind of dust, they, they may drop to the platters after you open the hard drives. Yeah, this is very dangerous, very risky. Second, the flying hide between the heads and platters are very, very small. It's like, you know, 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 micrometers. So if such kind of dust or particles with, within the air or from your body, yeah, they may drop to the platters between the heads and the platters. After you power on the hard drive, then the motor will rotate the platters, rotating at very high speed you know, at such kind of high speed, your platters and heads may get touched. And then your head scratch your platters. Then your data is gone. So from technology speaking, is about flying height between the heads and platters. So never allow any dust or particles within the air to come into your HDD, your hard drive body. So a lot of the reason is very important why you should, should be wear such kind of a suits, cover yourself, cover your body, except your eyes. Yeah. So you, you must be professional before your clients. Yeah, if you have this kind of stuff. You have clean bench, you have the head platter swap tools, professional tools. You wear such kind of stuff before your clients. How will you clients think about you? You are professional. Thumbs up for you, right? So you will get trusted by them. You can charge higher. Your clients feel they are respected by you. This is the reason you need to think about this one. To be professional before your clients. Okay, let, let's see. Uh, when they're trying to swap the heads, they can find different physical inner structures. 